All right, first of the week, let me kind of give you my outline here for the, the, the week and what I hope to get done by the, uh, the end of this week. Uh, I'm gonna get everything prepped and ready for paint. Uh, I'm gonna take it one room at a time, get the, um, get the uh, caulking done, get the final touch-up done. Anything that I see that I don't like, I'm gonna use my Milwaukee light and go over everything with a fine tooth comb one last time and then we're gonna paint. So I don't think it's gonna take me a week, but I'm gonna give myself a week to do it. Um, and then as soon as this is all painted, uh, we, myself and Cedar, found a really cool um, uh, floor that we're gonna put in up here that I'm really looking forward to uh, doing. I wish I could put into words just everything that I'm feeling right now. There's part of me that says you could go over the drywall for the next month and a half and find things to fix. But there's also part of me that says we're running out of time. It seems like just yesterday I was framing up the walls for the bedrooms. There's part of me that feels like this will never end. And I'm sure simply just because of who I am, I'm always gonna be finding things to improve or fix on what is to be the last house we ever live in. But there's also part of me that recognizes all the other projects around the property that are being neglected because the house isn't quite finished. The best thing that probably ever happened to us was a deadline. It's time to stop nitpicking things and just get the house painted and get it finished. As hard as I've worked on prepping the drywall for paint, mark my words, one of my two boys is gonna put a hole somewhere in the drywall. The good news is, I know somebody that knows how to fix it. Kids are hard on things, I know this, but I also want our home to be nice. As hard as I've worked, for as long as I've worked, I don't want to ask myself why I didn't take just a little bit more time to fix something that might bother me. But I think we're good. The one thing that was bothering me was the attic access. I fixed it. It's ready to go. If I'm not careful, there's going to be snow on the ground again. Every day that I come up here to work is one day closer to winter. In the back of my head, I keep telling myself I should be cutting firewood right now. The second that we're living inside the house, I'll spend at least one day a week doing this. But the best firewood is seasoned firewood. And I don't have a whole lot of that around the property. I can get it, there's always dead wood around, but the idea of burning something other than all the maple that we have around the place that needs to be thinned is a bit blasphemous. I'm ready to spend every second of every day up here at the property. I'm ready to get started on the shop. I'm ready to argue with my wife about where my antique spittoon is going to go. I'm ready for our kids to wake up safe and secure in a home that I built with my two hands. I'm ready.
Everything's ready for paint. I have to caulk the hallway. We have to vacuum the floors. Cedar and the kids are gonna come up in the morning and help me vacuum the floors. I'm gonna do one final coat uh, in the attic access. And, uh, and then we are 100% ready for paint. I sanded the ceilings, I went through everything. I touched up, I caulked, I did everything that's, that's ready to be done. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna need a little bit of help doing some cleaning tomorrow and, and the family's gonna help me with that. I thought for sure it would take me to the end of the week before I'd be ready for paint, but I'm on my way right now to go get paint and primer. Uh, I'm gonna do two coats of paint, two coats of primer. Um, again, just like I did on the downstairs. I think the mistake I made, although you can't even see it downstairs now that it's dried, but I think the mistake I made with that paint gun is I kept it a little bit too far away from the drywall. So I'm gonna hopefully start painting tomorrow afternoon and hopefully be done painting completely maybe by Thursday morning. And then um, we're gonna do the flooring up here. We found, we found some really neat flooring that I think will go really, really well with the style of the house. It's a real wood. I'm not gonna say much more about it until I get it. But uh, I just kind of got excited, even though I still got a lot of work to do downstairs with that drywall downstairs. I just kind of uh, maybe had a little moment or a little epiphanal type moment where I realized that that by the time we're done with this, this will be something that I'll be proud of and, and, uh, and it'll be worth the pain and suffering that it's caused so far. And so I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, what's going to be the, the, the finishing touches to this house. And again, making this house something that not only I can be proud of, but that my wife and kids can be proud of as well. And, uh, and anyway, and doing that without having a giant mortgage. Hallelujah. So anyway, I'm on my, on my way right now to go get the uh, paint primer. And uh, then we're going to get up here in the morning. And I don't believe the drywall contractor is going to show up. He texts me every day, sometimes a couple times a day. We've agreed on a price. And he just keeps making excuses. So I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm going to plan on finishing this room myself. And it's probably going to take me a solid week on this room. But if I can get everything finished upstairs and ready upstairs, we can move our stuff at least into the bedrooms and, uh, and work around it with the, the baseboard and with the trim, things like that. So anyway, that's the plan. We'll see how this goes. Thank you guys so much for the help. Thank you. Good luck. Next time you see me, you'll have half a painted house. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See ya. Love you. Cedar and the kids just left. I got everything masked up, everything cleaned, everything prepped to paint the entire upstairs. Um, I'm going to start. Let me back up and show you kind of how I'm going to do this. So first room on the left is the laundry, then the bathroom, then the master, and then back we've got the, the uh, boys' room, then the girls' room. 
and then back down. So I'm going to paint this in a way where my hose is not going to be rubbing up against the wall. So I'm going to paint the laundry room first. I'm going to paint the bathroom second. Paint the master third. Um, and then I'm going to paint the um, boys room and the girls room and then I'm going to paint as much of this kind of upper I don't know what we've, what we've decided to call this area up here the landing I guess with the stairs and I'm going to stop right here in this corner uh, that corner is going to kind of be the, 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 the spot where I pick up when I paint the transition downstairs after that drywall is done so then once uh, once I do the PVA drywall primer, I have to wait 30 minutes, then do a second coat, then wait 30 minutes, and then I do my first coat of the, uh, the Pure White Glidden Premium, then I have to wait two hours, okay, and then I can put the second coat. It's a little after nine o'clock right now. Uh, I'm going to run into town to get me a, a burger and uh, get me something with some caffeine in it and get back out here and do two more coats. So the way this works is, uh, I'm going to put one more coat on right when I get back out here and then I have to hit the two hour stopwatch. All right, I just got back up here to the ranch. I picked up another 10 gallons of paint this morning. The good news is I don't see any runs of any kind. I don't see any um, imperfections in the drywall that I can't live with. Drywall looks really good actually. Uh, it's just a matter of getting this paint down properly. I'm not going to film any of this obviously because it's just overspray everywhere. The entire upstairs is done. I'm exhausted. I got half the downstairs taped. I'll finish that hopefully sometime tomorrow. It's beautiful. It's perfect. I'm going to uh, see during the kids are going to come up in the morning and help uh, clean the windows really well, clean the screens. And then I'm going to caulk around the windows one final time. So the transition from the windows to the paint is not obvious. Um, I could go home and sleep for a couple days, but uh, I'm going to pick up the flooring in the morning and get the flooring up here and get, uh, get the flooring done so we can move our stuff from town uh, up here rather than into storage. So, uh, but no, I couldn't be happier with the way things turned out. The bright white is, is perfect. Um, you know, if later on, if Cedar wants to add some grays and different things to it, it'll be easy to do. There are still some places I can kind of see lines, but I've got three coats on this stuff. And hopefully as it dries, those lines go away. If it doesn't, I don't care. Uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, at this point going to do anything different. Um, the drywall texture is awesome. I can see one spot where a seam that, you know, kind of the paper got wet. I didn't have enough mud on it and the paper got wet and so now I can see the seam a little bit more but I bet if I didn't tell anybody about it they wouldn't be able to see it so for now I'm just going to leave it. So the focus now is to get the floor down in the next couple of days and then um, and then I'm going to have to hopefully by Friday or Saturday be able to stain and seal the floor. The floor is really really unique I'm hoping anyway I haven't seen it in real life I've seen pictures of it it's not, uh, there's probably something cheaper that I could do, but I believe it would go perfect with our house. We gotta drive a couple of hours to go get it. And um, to me, it's, it's gonna be exciting to, to see how it turns out. So the next video will be, uh, the next video this week will be the flooring and hopefully finishing the, the, ta the taping down here. And then once the flooring is done upstairs, I can, um, I can focus 100% on this down here. It's obvious the drywall contractor is not going to show up, but at this point, I don't really care. I don't need them. So I'm just going to finish it down here, and then we're going to make this house a home. <laughs>